Greetings students, I am Mia. Welcome you all once again to my Aussie tutor. Today, my young learners, we shall embark on an enthralling exploration of ethical dilemmas in counseling. So imagine yourselves as brave adventurers, venturing into unexplored territories where the lines between right and wrong blur. Do not fret, for by the end of our expedition, you shall possess a profound understanding of these intricate moral challenges and how counselors navigate their perplexing paths. Thus, gather close and let our extraordinary odyssey commence. Before we dive into the depths of ethical dilemmas in counseling, let's take a moment to understand their essence. Imagine, if you will, a counselor standing at a crossroads, grappling with conflicting moral choices that tug at the very core of their being. An ethical dilemma is precisely that a complex situation where a counselor finds themselves caught between the proverbial rock and a hard place. In these moments, they face the arduous task of determining the right course of action, navigating through a maze of ethical considerations and moral obligations. It's a challenging and often soul-searching experience where the counselor must carefully weigh the potential consequences, the well-being of their clients, and the ethical guidelines they have sworn to uphold. Let's understand this more intricately by looking at few examples. Imagine a counselor who discovers that their client is planning to harm themselves or others. On one hand, they have a duty to maintain client confidentiality and respect their privacy. On the other hand, they also have a responsibility to ensure the safety and well-being of the client and others. Let's look at another one. In some cases, a counselor may find themselves faced with ethical dilemmas when the needs and interests of multiple clients come into conflict. For example, if two clients disclose information that involves each other, maintaining confidentiality for one client may result in harm or betrayal to the other client. Here, we learn that each situation is unique, and the ethical decisions made by counselors require careful consideration adherence to professional guidelines, and thoughtful reflection. So how do counselors navigate these ethical dilemmas? They have a set of guidelines to help them make the best decisions possible. These guidelines are designed to protect the well-being of clients while respecting their rights and autonomy. Some key ethical principles include confidentiality, which means keeping the information shared in counseling sessions private unless there is a risk of harm. Then we have informed consent, which ensures that clients have a clear understanding of the counseling process, the potential risks involved, and their rights. Also, know that counselors don't face these ethical dilemmas alone. They have a network of support, including supervisors and colleagues, whom they can consult with when facing difficult decisions as seeking supervision allows counselors to gain different perspectives and ensure they're providing the best possible care for their clients. As we come to the conclusion of our exploration into the realm of ethical dilemmas in counseling, we recognize the profound challenges that counselors face in their pursuit of prioritizing their clients' well-being. Ethical dilemmas, with their complexities and difficult choices, require counselors to navigate through a delicate balance of responsibilities and diligently adhering to ethical guidelines, seeking the guidance of supervisors, and employing ethical decision-making processes to drive counselors to provide the best possible care. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of the intricate nature of ethical dilemmas in counseling. Remember, it is crucial to approach discussions around sensitive topics like these with respect and support. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, let us continue to foster an environment of empathy and compassion in our interactions.